heard of Aventis or have attended Aventis uh, courses before at Aventis, before the Circuit Breaker, or if you have already attended one recently on Zoom. Um, <clears throat> okay, they have been around since 2008. They have uh, more than 100 courses, a lot of uh, amazing trainers. I think, um, check out their YouTube channel. They have a lot, a lot of content there right now. And I think because of so much content, right, they actually, um, their subscribers also grew like exponentially just the last month. Okay. So, um, yeah, they have over 200 types of courses. All right. So check them out. Okay. And today this webinar is done on behalf of Aventis, partly because I have a one day workshop with them, one day YouTube workshop. So we'll try to help you out as much as we can today. Okay. Create introduction on myself. I'm Shamin. Um, I'm also the founder of my agency, Sky DJ Agency. I have two companies. The other one is called The Good Designers. I teach at IAL. I teach at Aventis as well. I have three courses of Aventis, okay? So um, for those of you who just came in, uh, it's Instagram, YouTube, and email marketing, okay? So this, these are the three courses I have with Aventis. All right. So before the circuit breaker, we managed to have two courses this year, okay? Instagram and YouTube. Now we are actually conducting the um, trainings online, all right? All of it is uh, conducted online, okay? So um, now my first question to you today, all right, just to help everyone understand why we are talking about YouTube, the, the key thing is also to understand the difference, the difference between the different social media platforms, all right? Some of you who are going to ask me about TikTok, uh, you can ask it at the end of the session, but... I don't really think that TikTok is, uh, unless you are really entertaining, okay? <clears throat> Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult. I've seen insurance agents go on TikTok. I look at their videos. There's someone who's doing like um, this TikTok thing that he will talk about the videos that have been on TikTok uh, ever since Circuit Breaker started, okay? Um, very funny. But <clears throat> if you're not funny and everything, I think TikTok is a bit difficult. If you're... Um, yeah, musically inclined, maybe you can explore TikTok, okay? But I'm just going to talk about this for Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Okay, which social media? Use the chat function, okay? You just need to move your mouse a little bit. You will see like the three dots and it says more. Click on it and it will, the first option I think at the top is called chat, okay? Open up your chat, all right? Open up your chat. We'll use it a lot, okay? I'm trying to make this webinar interactive, and I'll ask you a lot of questions, okay? So I need to hear from you so that I can kind of share from my perspective, okay? So let me know in the chat, which social media platform will you choose and why, okay? Some of you, you might be coming to this webinar today um, just to find out more about YouTube. You might be on other social media platforms and it might work better for you. I get it a lot, especially at IAL. A lot of them prefer LinkedIn, okay? So they attend <coughs> to put their... Uh, the, uh, they learn video marketing to, to put their videos on LinkedIn, okay? So how many of you would choose Facebook over YouTube? Anybody? Can use the chat function. Anybody would choose Facebook like over YouTube marketing? Am I missing out the chat? Okay, Jesse says yes. Wow, okay. <clears throat> Anyone? Depends on target audience. Very good point. Okay, very good point. Depends on target audience. All right. So who would prefer Instagram to YouTube? Okay. All right. Okay, depends on business and audience. So today I try to help you understand why YouTube is important. Okay, why YouTube is important apart from the others. But of course, um, <clears throat> it might not be a low-lying fruit. It might not be the easiest. Okay. But we first have to understand how are these social media platforms different, okay? How are they different? That's the first thing you have to try to understand. One is someone has already mentioned, um, demographics on this social media platform is different, all right? Your objectives on this platform, um, it's also to market yourself, but it is slightly different, okay? The strategies are different. So I try to explain this um, in the easiest way, I think, to help everyone understand, okay? So I already put two here. Okay, Facebook, we say we like burgers. YouTube, we show people how you eat a burger, right? What about Instagram and LinkedIn? How do you think they are different? 
How do you think they are different? Anybody? Anybody knows how Instagram and um, LinkedIn is different? No? Okay, let me tell you, okay? So Instagram, you use like a lot of hashtags, right? Love McDonald's to the ends of the earth. You say unfiltered, right? Uh, LinkedIn, you say I have... I have, my skills include burger tasting and eating many burgers at one go. So you tell people what your skills are on LinkedIn. Okay. Anyway, the limitation on LinkedIn is 10 minutes. Your videos have to be under 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, YouTube currently is the, the platform with the biggest um, threshold on, in terms of the duration of video. I think it's 12 hours right now. They are always increasing it. Okay. Facebook, um, <clears throat> there's a slight limitation, but they have increased it over time. Okay, so now my uh, slide here asks you this question, okay? Can you complete this sentence, please? YouTube is more than a social media platform. It is also the... Anybody can complete it? You can uh, put it in the chat. Anybody? It is also the second largest search engine. Yeah, after Google, okay? So it's also the second largest search engine. That's how different... That's how um, I would say that it is actually the most important point. Uh, okay, whatever else the difference is, right? Uh, the most important point is that it is more than a social media platform. It is also the second largest search engine just after Google. And Google owns YouTube, okay? Google bought YouTube in 2005, okay? 2005, all right? <clears throat> so now the question is, how would you define sales, okay? So um, anybody here is a, like your salesperson? be it you are a sales trainer or you are basically doing sales. How will you define sales? Anybody? <clears throat> Anybody? How will you define sales? Okay, I teach at IAL as well. So uh, many trainers, uh, many sales coach, uh, they come for our classes. So I always ask them and I, I like what one of them said. Able to sell, yeah. <clears throat> Anybody else? How will you define sales? Get people to buy your products, okay? Okay, what about, uh, what do you think is more important? Is sales more important or marketing more important? Anybody? Is sales more important or marketing more important? Marketing, okay. Marketing generates sales. Okay, yep. Okay, agree. Okay, um, one of the sales coaches, I, I, a few of them came, but one of them, I really like her explanation. She says that sales is 80% marketing. 80% marketing, okay? So you have to define sales. I have something here from HubSpot. It's just a joke that they did. So many people do not have, they are, they are not on the same page about what sales is about, okay? So you have to understand what sales is about. Sales is a lot about marketing. Imagine if marketing is not done and you try to do a sale. It's so difficult to close a sale when marketing is not done well, okay? Now, the question is, what is marketing? Okay, so you have to ask yourself, what marketing is. Marketing has changed over time, all right? Um, you have to understand that a lot of things has evolved over time. So marketing has also changed over time. Um, whatever that you think marketing is, okay, 20 years ago, it's no longer, maybe even 10 years ago, it might no longer be that right now, okay? Um, marketing has changed a lot over time. Okay, just something from HubSpot again. Um, okay, so... It's really, you have to be very clear what marketing is about. So now our focus is about why YouTube is important. Why YouTube is an important social media platform for any company or any uh, person doing their own personal branding or marketing. Okay, so why is YouTube important, all right? So this is uh, from dictionary.com. Okay, uh, marketing is the action of business promoting and selling products or services, okay, including market research and advertising. So advertising is when you put in money to push your marketing efforts, okay, your promotions efforts. So you might be doing, say, for example, like an event, and then you uh, advertise about it so that you can drive um, sales for your event, ticket sales, etc. Okay, so that is marketing. Okay, now, how we do marketing nowadays, uh, I just took a few screenshots from the ads that um, I found on Facebook. Uh. Okay, so basically, how many of you have seen ads similar to this kind on your feed? Okay. If you are a property agent, you say, you just put a picture up there, you, you, you tell people about this uh, condo, this new launch, 
and um, you ask people questions about property investments, right? And um, for example, you're a training organization. Um, here I have uh, something from Comet and they have a course, Microsoft Excel 2019 course, right? And um, they just advertise about it. So many people market this way now. Okay, so now the question is, how many of you have seen um, ads on YouTube? How many of you use YouTube and you've seen advertisements on YouTube? Anybody? Describe if you have seen uh, advertisement on YouTube, describe to me what do they usually do? Okay, it's quite consistent. Uh. It's quite consistent. Nowadays, people on YouTube are uh, pretty much consistent how they do their marketing. And you realize that how people do their marketing, right? The ads that you see on YouTube, right? It's slightly different from the ones that you see on Facebook, on Instagram, on LinkedIn. Okay? Yeah, you saw? So, uh, describe to me how, how does their ad sound like on YouTube? Anybody? Anybody? You can describe to it to me... Um, how, how it looks like. Okay, most likely, maybe it's only me, okay, but I'll describe to you the ads that I see. Um, most of them, they will, they will tell me a problem, right? And uh, most of the ads I see is about online business. And they will tell me that they have a free webinar, okay? So I have to click and then I register for the free training that they have for me. Anybody have seen this type of uh, ads on YouTube before? Okay, so... Marketing has changed a lot. Um, you have to value it. You have to prove that um, you are the service provider people should go for. All right. So the question is, how often do we use YouTube? There is a group of people who use it every day. Okay. Every single day. Um, and it may not even be like what the other social media platforms, like 30 minutes or an hour, right? It might be like two hours, three hours because we watch a lot of YouTube videos. Okay. Myself included, I... I mentioned uh, yesterday as well, I no longer watch TV. The only time I watch TV is when, during dinner time, okay, when my parents switch on the TV and um, I also watch their 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock show. But I seldom watch. I, I usually just uh, watch YouTube. Okay, so now the next question is, um, this is my definition, okay? Marketing, so you have to define yourself, yeah? This is my own definition, but if you agree with me, you can take down all these points uh, that I have, okay? So marketing is actually about inspiring, motivating, and helping our customers, okay? This is what I think marketing should be, okay? This is what I think marketing should be, all right? So, and this uh, helping customers, it can be in many forms, okay? For later, I'll ask you and I'll try to get to know uh, more about what your business model is like, but... For those of you who are able to uh, educate your customers, even property agents, right? And people in the training industries, especially them. I think insurance agents also can. Um, even for government agencies, there's so many things you can educate your um, the public on, right? Uh, let's talk about CPF. Yesterday, we talked about CPF as a case study on Instagram. Very good job, right? But actually, there's so many. Their webinars could be on YouTube. People can watch it when they are free rather than attend the event, right? So all these things can be pre-recorded and also um, then given, then promoted. And then you can just come in to answer questions, actually. Eventually, that would probably be the system. Lah. Okay, so basically, ask yourself, what is marketing? To me, I have... Uh, put these three points out. Marketing is about inspiring and motivating people, helping people know about what your values are as a brand. There are many things. So you have to define what marketing is, okay? And there's this term called inbound marketing. And YouTube is a lot about that, okay? YouTube is a lot about inbound marketing. Inbound marketing is about attracting. So how can you attract, okay? How can you attract your customers to get to know you and to want to know more about your products and services, okay? So that's what marketing is about nowadays, all right? So for those of you who, uh, you, you should take down this question, what is marketing? And you should define what marketing is about. Okay, now, the first and biggest problem actually for most people is not understanding the formats of how uh, we consume content nowadays, okay? So very quickly, okay, um, let me know. Do you know or do, is, do you have a preference of content? Any type of content? Let me share with you some, okay? Now, there are videos. Okay, social media has different type of content. There's images. Sometimes people 
write a bit of a blurb, an article on uh, social media, right? On LinkedIn as well. Okay. Webinar, like today, is another form of uh, content, blogs. Okay. Ebooks, anybody prefer? Prefer ebooks? LinkedIn slide shares, infographics. Okay. So, my question to you is which format do you prefer? I have put seven here. Which format of content do you prefer to consume? You can put it in the chat. Anybody? Which format do you prefer? Infographics, videos, web manners. Okay, good. Videos, infographics, yep. Anybody else? Infographics, a lot of people say infographics, okay. So, anybody prefer videos, blog, yeah? Nowadays, very rarely people read blogs, uh, okay? And I call it uh, competitive and less competitive, not say not competitive. But if we talk about ranking videos, it's easier to rank your videos um, rather than ranking your blog post now, okay? So, think about that, okay? So, now think of the formats that you prefer, okay? And think of the formats that our customers prefer, okay? Sometimes you prefer blogs, but we have to think about our customers. If our customers prefer videos and we don't create videos, then how are we going to market to them? <clears throat> are we going to pay money to get a blog post done, okay? Are we going to get infographics done when they prefer videos? Are we going to create a um, ebook or a presentation slide shares when they prefer videos? So that's the question you should ask yourself, okay? Yes, there's a certain preference that we have on our own, but we should look at our customers. What is their preference? If you're not sure, then you should survey them, ask them, any preference, okay? Now, when we talk about videos, okay, we should also talk about pros and cons, right? So before I share about the pros and cons that I've listed out, maybe you can share with me what do you think are the pros and cons before I share with you. Share with me what are some of the pros and cons you think about YouTube, about videos. What are some pros and cons? Anybody? You can put it in the chat. Too much content on YouTube. There's too much content on YouTube currently. Okay, the pro is that it's easy to understand. All right, so if you're a good communicator, if you're a good communicator, um, or I mean like uh, like spoken, right, on, on, on a video format, if you're a good communicator, you make things easier to understand. You make, uh, let's say even if I design, or even if I write a blog post, even if I design an infographic, yes, infographic helps you to understand things very quickly, okay? But videos actually speak so much more. You heard of this Chinese saying, yeah? Um, a picture paints a thousand words, yeah? Or is it an English saying? Okay, but a video actually says so much more. Okay, cons is that it's not interactive. Yeah, that's true. Okay, if it's a pre-recorded, it's not interactive. So uh, a lot of businesses nowadays they do uh, webinars. Okay, webinars, right? Okay, attention span. Mm, what what about attention span? Is it a pro or a con? It's a con. Okay, you mean like short attention span? Is that what you mean? Anybody else? Okay, yeah, um, it's true. Uh, our attention spans are short, so we have to keep our points succinct uh, on videos. So a lot of times people actually uh, recommend like a shorter duration type of videos or you keep it engaging, like you ask questions, you like have movements and you are uh, more, I wouldn't say hyped up, but you should be enthusiastic, right, about your topic. Some people talk like mm, monotonous, then that's when people get bored and they just close off the video, okay? Let me give you some pros and cons, but if you have any more pros and cons, you can keep it coming in the chat, okay? Too long, yeah, might not get the attention span. Okay, come. Now, videos, the pro is that it helps your customers to know you, as in the person to the brand, the, the face to the brand, okay? Like you and trust you. Most of the time, visuals, blogs, very difficult. Blogs is possible uh, if your customer is a reader and if you write very well. I have read so many blogs, right? After the first few sentences, I just like, mm, never mind, just close off and, and look for another blog post, okay? So there are 
preference of way that you prefer a blog post to be written. Similarly for videos, it's the same thing. Okay, now you need a plan and strategy. Actually, I don't really consider this a con because a lot of things that you do, marketing, social media, any platform, you need a bit of strategy. Okay, you need, actually you need strategy, not a bit. You need strategy. All right, uh, greater awareness and credibility. Okay, um, yesterday's webinar Instagram, I said that if you have an Instagram profile, it's like, wow, people will be like, wow, your Instagram profile looks good. Uh. Um, more credible compared to your competitors who don't have an Instagram profile, who don't do that, who have or don't, who have and don't do their Instagram profiles properly, right? So similarly for YouTube, okay, it's double wow because it's like, wow, you, you actually spend so much time to create videos or you actually, uh, you know, your videos is good. I, I learned something, okay? So greater awareness and credibility. Saves me time, okay? Let me explain this, ah. Uh. Because a lot of people always tell me, right, the biggest reason is that it takes so much time, okay? It takes so much time to come up with videos on YouTube, edit them. I need to go and learn how to edit and give me a lot of reasons, ah. Uh. Okay, but my point to you is this, uh, if I have something to explain, say for example, even this YouTube webinar, and everyone is asking me, why YouTube? Why should I do YouTube for my business? And imagine every single time just to explain to a potential client, right? It takes me half an hour to an hour, okay, to explain. Just imagine if I convert my webinar and host it on YouTube, or I record a video, put it on YouTube, and I share it with my client and I say like, Okay, this video actually explains uh, why YouTube marketing is important. Okay, I just, if let's say the video is uh, 20 to 30 minutes, okay, 30 minutes, then over every month, let's say I have like 10 people asking me, one year I have 120, right? So you convert 100 times 20, let's take 30 minutes, easier to calculate, okay? 30 minutes times 100 is 3,000 minutes. 3,000 minutes divided by 60, right? Is uh is it 300, 3,000 divided by 60, 500, 500 hours? Let me do some calculation. Anybody knows? 3,000 minutes divide by 60 minutes. Okay, 50, 50. Okay, so 50 hours. I see it as a time saving. I say 50 hours. That's provided I only have 100 people inquiring. Usually, we have so many people who just inquire and ask that question, okay? So, um, over time, you save a lot of time, okay? So, it saves me time, all right? So, at least 50 hours if your video is like half an hour. Most of our videos are super long and we have so many videos. So, imagine consolidated every single month, we are almost saving like 2,000 minutes every single month, okay? So, one year is like, what, 24,000 minutes, okay? All right. Um, Real-time analytics and uh, marketing results, actually a lot, a, lot of, um, a lot of platforms give you analytics, right? But YouTube one uh, is the most detailed analytics, okay? Most detailed analytics, I will show you my own analytics very shortly, okay? So now let's go to the next slide. Okay, now here's my analytics, okay? Uh, this was uh, March, yeah. March, okay, they sent it to me in April. I was looking for the June, uh, the May one today, but it still hasn't came to my inbox. But now, if we look at the first three, okay, it says plus six subscribers, plus 557 views, plus 833 minutes watch, okay? Six likes, 29 shares, all right? This was in March, okay, given to me in April by YouTube. Now, and and there's this like um, flicks thing, right? This party poppers thing, right? That's because uh, it was a breakthrough, okay? It was a breakthrough that, that month. That's because also COVID-19, okay? Right? So a lot of people were watching a lot more videos, okay? So that's another reason for you to get started with videos. Now, in um, April, send, it, send to me in May. Look at this. It's 659 views. Actually, I don't pay a lot of attention to views. I look at minutes watch, okay? Minutes watch, I think, is... Um, better and there are people who there are likes there are comments and likes i think like 5x from 6 to 30 right and then there's 62 shares people are sharing our videos okay so that is um last month so this month one uh, may didn't came in so i took a screenshot yesterday night okay put it into my slides now um, our latest last 28 days is 
2,200 minutes. Okay, so like I mentioned to you, if we keep going, if we keep increasing, or I just take an easy math, 2,000 minutes times 12 months, 24,000 minutes. 24,000 minutes, and that's the amount of time I am saving every year. Okay, that's provided I don't grow, but usually we will grow, right? Because if you do something consistently, you value add to people, you will grow. Okay, so that's how much time we are saving every single year. Okay, and just compare like every single month we have this increment, right? X amount of minutes, right? Just imagine this is like helping you to pitch your products and services, helping you to pitch about you, helping the videos are helping your customers get to know, uh, know you know your services, like you, trust you, right? If they don't like you, do you think they will keep watching your videos? Probably not, okay? So I don't, like I mentioned to you, I don't pay a lot of attention to views because they don't really tell you much. Um, I prefer to look at minutes watch, okay? Minutes watch. They also tell you the last 48 hours, which are your top videos, okay? So, and they also tell you uh, which video gives you the most subscribers, okay? So then when you know that, that certain things work, then you would want to create more. Okay, these are what the other social media platforms don't tell you. So I find that actually YouTube is easier to figure out because there's so many analytics that they give you and their videos are searchable. So these are top two reasons really. And if you ask me, right, although it's not a low-lying fruit, you need to think about your content strategy which is what we are going to talk about in our one-day workshop, okay? Um, and helping you map out your, what you should focus on so that you can get to where you want and what are your monthly milestones what would it look like okay what should you focus on the next three to six months all right now i also have another analytics which is um you can see that external we have a lot okay that's probably because our videos are also embedded on our website or maybe some other people use our videos embedded and on their website uh and then we have suggested video traffic as well okay so all these are what i call uh, organic organic okay now my question to you is this okay when a lot of times, a lot of people, right, or rather um, some of you, you might relate to this, okay? When you adopt new marketing, social media marketing platforms or when you adopt new social media strategies, right, ask yourself what are some of the small milestones you can celebrate, okay? A lot of people are just looking for the very big milestones, uh, meaning that, wow, uh, this, 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 this company has 500 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, so they're always looking at all these big things, but what are the small things that you can celebrate, okay? And uh, for us, we highly encourage participants to just look at the small little progresses that you have made, okay? And ask yourself, how can you improve? This is something that is difficult, but I think that everyone should start thinking um, sometimes it's uncomfortable, you should be uncomfortable, okay? I always um, think that we shouldn't be too comfortable. Once we are too comfortable, um, that's when we don't grow, okay? As a person, as a business, okay? We must always uh, try new things, but, okay? So, when adopting new strategies, okay? Ask yourself what are some of the small milestones you can celebrate. Now, the next thing is, what kind of video should you create? What kind of video should you create? Okay, I put this Venn diagram here, right? Anybody want to make a guess? What kind of video should you create? Anybody? Creative NOC, okay. I also like NOC videos. Uh. The recent news are quite sad, uh, NOC. Cat videos, original, informative, dog videos, okay. Um, anything else? DIY, yeah. How to do something, uh, do it yourself, yeah. All these craft channels do very well nowadays, okay? Because a lot of people are just finding things to do at home. Cannot socialize, cannot go out. Anything else? Cooking lessons, yeah. Okay, a lot of chefs, a lot of food channels doing very well right now as well. Repair, yeah, okay. Any, okay, think of a business. How many of you are in uh, service, professional service? Anybody? Yeah, guide. What kind of guide? Okay, what kind of guide? Good. Guide. Okay. Tour. Tour guide. Okay. How to do YouTube marketing guide. Yep. 
Okay, so these are guides and um, basically why do you think we want to do it or why do you think is it important to do it? Why do you all think it's important to do guides? Anybody? Why do you want to create guides? Anybody? Value add. Okay, JL, good. Value add. All right. You value add and um, how I will summarize it is like this. Lah, okay. Easiest way to understand is what you want to make, you have to also match it with what your customers want. Okay. Make something in between. All right. If you want your customers to know about you, know about your products, know about your services, know about your professionalism, know about how you can value add to them, how your service solves their problem, you also have to make what they want. Okay, The problem with marketing today, so many people are still just marketing and talking about themselves, but not looking at their customers and creating what their customers want. Okay, So something to think about. And the difference is this. Okay, The difference is this. Um, there's something called buying from you and buying into you. This is a lot uh, of what social media can bring to the table for many businesses, okay? So, buying from you is decided, okay? I, I just took six points, lah, huh? Okay, if you have more points, you can add on for me in the chat. Uh, price, okay, convenience of purchase. Maybe let's say even for us training organizations, if our if our location is not so convenient, people would not choose us. But they are buying into you if you are not so convenient, but they still go. They still go. Meaning that let's say, for example, uh, I'm based in Singapore and let's say I only conduct face-to-face -face training. Uh, but my participants flying from all over the world. That is buying into me. That is not buying from me. That's the difference, okay? Uh, if you're an e-commerce-based business, whether or not you provide quick delivery, that's buying from you, okay? Whether you can build trust, that's also um, uh, buying from you, okay? Ease of purchase, how many clicks um, to actually buy it? Is it convenient to buy? That's buying from you. If it's too difficult, people just give up, that is buying from you basically. Okay, so uh, you have to make it easy, right? So that's buying from you. Okay, and your range of products, let's say, let's say we only have like three courses for you to choose from, then you'll be like, uh, okay, maybe I go for another training organization who has like 10. Maybe they have more expertise, right? Because they teach 10. So there are many assumptions that we make, okay? Now, what is buying into you? Okay, what is buying into you, right? Okay, that desire, okay, the desire to learn, okay, that's what I mentioned um, a little bit earlier, like when you motivate people, when you inspire people so that they have the desire, right? Or um, you show, you, 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 you enjoy using your product so much that you show it on videos and people want to buy, that desire to buy, okay? Okay, they understand the need, they, you have a differentiator, they know that you are different, okay? They, they, they see and they relate to your beliefs and values, all right? They relate to you. So, the, and a lot of times, um, I try to explain this in my full day workshops, right? Um, in a video, you can, you can bring out so much more. The way that you do your presentations, the way that you speak, the way that you um, take questions, the way that you handle uh, certain certain um, questions posted to you. All this builds into basically who you are and why people should trust you. And that will also communicate a bit of the values that you can bring, the values that you have as a person, okay? And connection, exclusivity, okay? So some people, they like to learn from certain training organizations because there's exclusivity. Some people, they like to buy with certain brands because there's exclusivity, right? Nike, Adidas, um, those uh, branded handbags, LV. I mean, I don't have LV, but I, don't, I, I think people who buy all this branded stuff, they do have this exclusivity. They feel like, oh, I, you know, I have a coach or I have a LV, I have a, um, yeah, Hugo Boss, etc. Okay, so the best way I can explain this is this, okay? It's all about branding and brand positioning today on uh, social media. Okay, so what is uh, that? Okay, what does it mean? Okay, I, I can explain this with coffee. All right, so ever wondered why sometimes you're willing to pay more for coffee? Okay, 
um, recently, I'm a, I'm someone who doesn't really like Starbucks. Uh. The only time I drink Starbucks is like when I have no other choices or I'm at the airport waiting for my flight. Okay, so I don't like Starbucks, but I like cafe coffee. Like if my friends ask me out to, you know, uh, Percole or Hark's coffee, right, at Paya Lebar. Um, I enjoy those coffee. I, 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 I think it's more than just the coffee. It's basically the experience of hanging out with friends, um, the, the environment the cafe brings, okay? And also, uh, sometimes it's, of course, it has a bit of taste uh, to, to I, I mean, like, maybe certain preference of coffee, certain uh, way that it's being done, okay? So, ask yourself why you will not pay more for a coffee shop coffee, okay? Why is it cheap, fast, free, nothing fancy? But people still love it. I also like uh, coffee shop coffee. I drink my uh, Yuan Yang, okay? I don't drink coffee from a coffee shop coffee, but I drink Yuan Yang, okay? So, now, uh, coffee bean. All right, coffee bean, Starbucks, $7 to $8.50. Why are we willing to pay more? Okay, so, and you will realize that a lot of times, right, if there are other options, we wouldn't go, I don't know about you, okay, but we wouldn't go for coffee bean and Starbucks. Uh, coffee bean is still okay. I think I, I, I quite like their cakes, the cheesecakes, but, and their chocolate cakes, their chocolate banana, I think um, that was, yeah, one of their well-known cakes, okay? So, I've talked a lot, okay? So what have you learned about YouTube marketing so far? What have you learned about YouTube marketing so far? Let me check the time. 8.10, okay? So 20 more minutes. What have you all learned about YouTube marketing? Anybody have any questions about YouTube? Or are able to share what are your takeaways? Maybe before and after you attend this webinar, what are some of your takeaways? Anybody? That it is an effective channel. That's right. It is a effective channel. I think that it gives you so much more analytics. You understand what is working and what is not working. Okay. Yeah. Supports you with a lot of analytics. Good. Okay. Effective channel. Supports you with a lot of analytics. It's the second biggest engine. That's right. Okay. Second biggest search engine after Google. Google owns YouTube. All right. Can you share an example of a successful YouTube advert? It'd be quite difficult for me right now. I, I didn't record the, 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 the YouTube videos, but think about the types of YouTube videos that you see. For me, um, the YouTube videos that are successful are videos that I watch. Um, they're interesting. Maybe next time I should watch, but most of the time because I, I watch the, the, the advert on my mobile phone, uh, so I can't record it. Um, even if I record it, it's without sound. I don't understand why the uh, mobile phone recording looks like that. But yeah, we have to get onto a desktop to record. But yeah, I should think about recording some very good examples. But those, okay, think about, uh, have you all seen this uh, NTC advert? Okay, that one I have because uh, it was on their YouTube channel. Okay, let me uh, open that up. Keep your questions coming. Keep your questions coming. Mm. That's my slides. Okay, this is, uh, I put it in the other, one of my other video marketing workshops. Uh. Okay, let me just uh, pull it up for you. Okay. It's, I wouldn't say just YouTube advert. Uh. Okay, a video, what is a good video advert? What do you think is a good video advert? Okay, I, I usually share, uh, four points for you to think about. It's, uh, the framework is called IDA. It has been around for 100 over years. Um, it's, it's a video that not only builds the awareness of who you are as a brand, it builds your interest to buy from them, it builds that desire, and it, it spurs you to take action. That is a good YouTube or good video advert. Okay. Um, let me look for the advertisement. Okay, I think you all stay back. Okay, I will show you a good, uh, that, that video. I don't have it in my slides. Okay, I'll show it to you later. Ask me again. Um, good strategy will produce good outcome. Yeah, okay. Everything needs to have strategy. The problem is uh, a lot of times we are so excited, we just go on a platform, try and then bump our heads and everything and um, just feel so upset uh, that it doesn't work. 
no subscribers. But there are frameworks and strategies that you can follow so that you... I always believe that making mistakes is okay, but don't make the same mistakes as what other people have done. And if there are things that you can learn from other people's mistakes, then you should learn from those mistakes and make new mistakes, okay? So I always believe that, okay? And I try to tell people that as well. Okay, good strategy, yep. Entertaining, yep, okay. Um, yep, Winnie, you, if you put in your uh, link in the description, your YouTube channel, I will take a look later, okay, during q and I, I have about 10 minutes for Q&A. Okay, now, the reason why I ask you that question is, okay, there are, maybe some of you, you have already tried YouTube, you think that YouTube is very difficult, but the problem is, or rather that the lesson we can learn, right, as we were children, or from our children, even is when we play games, we, we, it's new to us, okay? When we play board games, la, catching, la, all these games when we were young is new to us. But when we lost these games, did we give up? Did we give up? Okay? Most of the time, children won't give up. They will just keep trying again. But there are some children who give up, right? And then you need to like encourage them. No, it's okay. Uh, let's try again. Okay? So now as adults, Maybe we don't have those kind of people around us, okay? But this is what training can do for you. Training can guide you and give you that motivation and also to uh, help you not make um, mistakes that you can avoid, all right? So that's what training can do, okay? So just remember, as, as we were children, we did not give up just because we lost the game. And in fact, we uh, learned new games. It didn't stop us from playing games, right? All right, so um, another, another thing is sometimes we give up too early, okay? Sometimes we give up too early and, um, okay, make mistakes, fail fast, but don't make the same mistakes, right? Make new mistakes, I said this earlier, okay? And now is a very good time. Now is a very good time to learn new skills, okay? And I, I always cannot understand why, you know, uh, people always say lifelong learning, but honestly, when you start learning, right, and you have that, just that, uh, excitement to learn more new skills, to learn new things. Just all these other things, it's just so much easier to learn, okay? And, um, and, and, and right now, we save so much time from commuting to work. Most of us are still working from home. So we save at least two hours a day commuting from work, huh? unless your, your, your work is just like down the road. Huh? Most of the time, we have to travel to work, okay? So there's so much time that we save right now and use these skills to learn new skills, practice new skills, try new things, okay? And if you want to get started with video marketing, okay, I prepared a slide here for you. Um, you, you just need your uh, smartphone. In fact, for me, I just use my uh, Huawei, okay. Um, we, I bought the Huawei specifically for this purpose, okay. Partly because um, limited space on my iPhone. Uh, Androids, most of it you can actually add in a SIM card, right? Uh, sorry, a memory card. So uh, that's why I use this Android and their cameras are also really good lah. Okay, so what you need to do is to remember not to use the uh, front camera but use the ones behind. Okay, the, the cameras behind have better resolution, have better resolution, okay? Uh, Lavalier mics, I'm going to show you, okay? Film in a quiet environment if your uh, room has a lot of uh, carpet, uh, sorry, have a lot of echo, okay? Carpets, pillows, uh, furniture actually do help to bring the echo down, okay? Because they absorb sound. Uh, you can just put pillows around you as well, okay? Uh, that actually helps. Uh, although it looks funny, people won't see it, right? So, yeah. Okay, Levator mics, okay, so Levator mics are, uh, I'm going to show you an example, okay, I'm going to show you an example later. Okay, lighting, natural light is very important, okay, before uh, we had to wear masks, I was filming downstairs my house, I think it's natural light, the best, okay, but right now cannot have to wear masks, so um, most of our videos are done indoors, okay, and also done as a webinar style with uh, small tunnels and all, okay? Now, Lavalier mics, personally, I think you can try to get the cheaper ones um, just to get started, okay? Don't need to go for the very expensive one. My first Lavalier mic was a $20 Lavalier mic. Um, currently, I have two of this Boya M1. Uh, now, it's $20. When I bought it, it was like $30, over dollars, okay? $35 each. I bought two. I think by mistake, I added the thing twice into my cart, okay? But um, it's good because I have so many trainings, so I put it in my different bags my luggage and everything so I don't forget because I conduct video marketing workshops at different uh, places, yeah. Okay, Winnie, I'll get back to you on that, okay? So, uh, 
most common reasons why we don't get started, okay, creating a 30 minutes video, people always tell me, takes me like four hours, six hours, that's too much time. Now, I mentioned to you this example earlier, if 100 people watch your 30 minute video, if you can share it, like, don't just like create a video and put it on YouTube and then just expect people to come. You have to share it. And then when YouTube picks up the algorithm, oh, people are watching this video and then they will push it out to more people. Okay, of course, other things that we will talk about during the one day class is your thumbnails. Why you should design your thumbnails? How can you design your thumbnails? What are some good thumbnails to have? Okay, so mindset. I think it's very important. I think this is the only way I can explain why certain things, uh, why I do certain things. I think, or how you can get started in doing things that you think is inconvenient, okay? Um, save of, uh, saving of time. So maybe it's just a mindset that we need to change, all right? It's, if everything is just so convenient and easy, then, um, you know, there's really not much that, we don't need to work so hard, right? If everything is so easy. Okay, so now, how many of you will consider yourself an opportunist? Okay, you can write it in the um, chat. How many of you consider yourself as an opportunist? Anybody? You do? Okay. Anybody else consider yourself as an opportunist? Those of you who consider yourself as an opportunist, maybe you can give me a yes in the chat so that I will flash the next slide out and ask you what were an opportunities uh, opportunists do in that situation. Anybody else besides Jesse? Anybody else consider yourself an opportunist? Okay, City, yeah, opportunist. Anybody else? Opportunist? You consider yourself? No? Nobody else? Okay. Winnie, yep. So if you consider yourself an opportunist, right? Okay, I'm going to ask you this question. Okay, some of you who may not have replied to the chat, uh, I give you this scenario. Two friends were at a party asking whose wine glass is this? Okay, an opportunist comes along and here's this conversation. What do you think an opportunist would do in this situation? Okay, for those of you who said you're an opportunist, what will you do in this situation? Two friends were at a party asking whose wine glass is this? Anybody? Maybe those who said you're an opportunist, Jesse, Siti, Winnie. What will you do as an opportunist in this situation? Offer other drinks? Like, give them another <laughs> Okay, that's a very nice uh, gesture. <laughs> Say that it is yours, right? So the opportunist will just drink up the wine. Okay, so if you're an opportunist, okay, take action now. Okay, so... Uh, we have a class coming up on 9 July, okay? 9 July. We'll go to Q&A shortly. Uh, just like to give you all these details. Uh, 9 July, Thursday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you want to find out more, contact Roshini. Her email and her number is here. Um, the discount now is 20%. Okay, I'm not sure how long it will go for, but uh, the discount now is 20%. Uh, code you can quote is Live20. Okay, and this is Aventis channel. I think... Um, Earlier, Ross also put the uh, YouTube uh, that link um, in the chat. Okay, can't find it now, but yeah, yeah, okay, found it. Okay, so if you if you want to see this, watch this video again. You can uh, or the other videos, the Instagram one and the email marketing and the other trainers all have their videos up on the YouTube channel. Okay, so check that out. Okay, so if you're interested, to learn more. Um, join me at this uh, workshop, 9th of July. Uh, email Roshini for more details at roshini at aventus.com. All right. Okay. Any other questions? Now it's Q&A time. Okay. Some of you asked uh, me to take a look at the, let me just see what your channel is about. Anybody have any questions? Okay. One thing, uh, okay, Winnie, um, one thing that, how much is the fees after 20%? <laughs> Maybe Rosh, you can help. I'm. Uh, 20% of uh, what's the cost fee? Five four four excluding GST. Okay, five four four excluding GST. All right. So one of the things about we one of the things about YouTube channels, right? Um, of course, I have to watch your videos to give you more feedback, right? But just very quickly, ah. Uh, 
thumbnails is very important. Thumbnails, okay? Uh, if you are into F&B, food, uh, cooking stuff, um, always look for what your competitors are doing. Because there's so many things to learn, right? From good things. Always learn the good things. So if you find that, hmm, this looks interesting and you actually click on it, okay? There are reasons. Ask yourself, take three steps back. Ask yourself, why do you click on it? Is it because of the thumbnail? Is it because of the title? Okay, these are things that we go through during the class as well. All right, so uh, these are things that we need to, to have. Visually, if it's not attractive, people will not click through, okay? So ask yourself uh, whether your thumbnail needs to have that delicious vegetarian curry puff, the end product, um, something visually appealing um, so that people will click through. And ask yourself also, that's a very, another very important point that I think all of you who are attending this webinar should uh, think about is how uh, can you promote your videos, okay? You, you cannot, uh, of course, the good thing is when your, your videos actually promote themselves, they, they get a lot of awareness and traction, but if they don't, right, you still have to promote it on your end, okay? But it's, uh, of course, uh, you don't really have to explore the paid advertisement um, as much first, but ask yourself, can you share this video with 10 good friends who would actually share it with other people, okay? So that's what I used to do when I first started. I got my friends to watch my videos, okay? And I got my friends to subscribe to my channel, right? So you must have at least 10 to 20 people that would support you uh, when you get started and ask them for feedback, okay? This group of close friends, um, if they give you feedback, if it's good, if it's something to think about, then you use it to improve yourself, okay? Is there a hashtag system similar to Instagram? A little bit, but um, a little bit, yeah. There's a little bit of hashtag in uh, YouTube, um, partly just the way that they group up stuff. So they are catching on, uh, but it's not like Instagram, like you have to use 30, 20, 30 hashtag kind of thing. Uh, but we do include like two to three hashtags in our YouTube description. Uh, not so much of the title, just the description. Okay, any other questions about YouTube or YouTube marketing? Let me just, it's Q&A time. Okay, take this uh, screenshot. It's Q&A time. Any other questions? We have four more minutes. Four more minutes. Okay, there are actually a lot of things um, about YouTube marketing, but um, the key thing to understand is how can people uh, look for you and also how uh, you can improve on your the types of video contents. We share with you a tool to search for what people are searching for. Okay, and we also give you a lot of uh, other resources like high resolution images, high resolution uh, footage. Okay, that you can use that are royalty and commercial free. Okay, so uh, I think I've given uh, Winnie the feedback. The NTUC one, I still cannot find it. But if you remember, the NTUC uh, advertisement was about this young lady who saw an old lady at a shopping mall. And what happened was um, the old lady uh, with a walking stick started chasing the young lady. And then after that, when they looked closer into the, in at one another, they realized that they have identical moles or something like that. So they realized that it was their future self, okay? So the old lady was actually hitting on the, I mean like literally like using her working stick to chase and hit that uh, young self because she didn't buy insurance, <laughs> okay? So uh, there are many things to a video that's like frameworks, that structures, whether it should be funny, entertaining, things like that. All these things you have to think about it. And if there are advertisements that you enjoy watching, Ask yourself why. Ask yourself why. Okay. Yeah, that 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 video was specifically about NTC income insurance, lah. Okay, and um, if you think about it, most of the time you don't really, you don't really, you like insurance agents approach you, you don't really like, uh, all smiles. You just like keep your face straight, walk past them, don't reply, right? But this is the advertisement that that like I will always watch, lah. Okay, it was quite some time ago, but it's still on your YouTube channel. Um, I remember a few months back, I, I actually played it for our participants, okay? So if you have no other questions, um, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, we have two more minutes. Uh, for those of you who have any other questions, you can ask now. 
Okay, and I would suggest that uh, you pick out a new skill during this time, especially if you consider yourself an opportunist uh, during this period of time. It's a good time to learn new skills. And I think out of all the social media platforms, I personally think that YouTube um, really helps uh, to drive a lot of brand awareness. And uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of overseas exposure as well. Okay, I actually managed to get a Dubai client just because of our YouTube videos. And that was like, last year so the dubai client inquired last year and came on board this year okay yep no problem thank you so much for joining susan what type of skill will you recommend there are many things that you need to um learn right one is thumbnail designing uh, not difficult uh we actually share with you um the platform canva and i give you some guidelines uh. i give you some case study of good thumbnails and uh, just get you to try it out Okay, number two, um, you might need to um, learn a bit of video editing, which is what we teach during the class as well. Okay, we use this platform uh, called ClickChamp. It's free if you export the video at 480p. Okay, 480p is actually good for Facebook, good for LinkedIn. But for YouTube, actually, we recommend 720p. But you can always get started with 480p. And then once you get momentum, then you sign on on their uh, paid uh, subscription, which is like $15 a month. And then um, very nice, very nice um, templates that they have, very nice, um, uh, very easy to use. Okay, so we use ClickChamp. Okay, it's a free platform. You can go and try it out if you want to. Okay, ClickChamp is a platform that I always recommend uh, for new users because it's really easy and it's on a, on a Chrome, right? On a desktop, so it's easier to edit. Although mobile phones can, but I've always tried, it's so difficult, it's just like the things that you need to trim down to the second, right? It's just so difficult to edit, but there are mobile phone editing apps, huh? okay? So these are some skills you need to understand, and also content you should create on YouTube. Um, the fourth thing is your bias journey on the internet. Uh, the fifth thing is what can you put, okay? So there's a script template that we put together to help you understand what are some things that you need to put in place to help other people understand the value that you're bringing and also why they should um, stay tuned for more. Uh, one of the things is to be consistent in your video strategy, in your video um, contents that you put out. Um, those of you who go, who post a video once a week on YouTube, that's, the, that's really what, you, what we are looking at, at least once one video a week on YouTube. Now, the, mo the co most common problem that a lot of people will tell me that what kind of videos am I going to put? One video a week, that's 52 videos a year. So that is the content strategy I'm talking about, okay, which we'll walk through during the class. Can you repeat the four parts in creating YouTube? What do you mean? Was it covered earlier? Or you mean the four points that I talked about earlier? The what I shared earlier was actually uh, Alex. The what I shared earlier was actually to Winnie's question of what skill is important in YouTube marketing. So it's really about uh, the content, okay? Because you need to be you need to publish uh, once uh, once a week minimally, and also um, the thumbnail designing, okay? Uh, I think most people they 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 thought that oh. So long as I have very good video contents, right, that's enough. But actually, uh, besides very good video contents, you need to have a very attractive thumbnail so that people will click on your videos to watch your videos. Um, then you need to learn a bit of video editing. These are things that we go through in a one-day YouTube marketing course. Sounds like a lot of things, right? It's actually a very packed workshop. Okay? Recommendation? No. But look at some channels. Um, is there any food channels that you like? Personally... I follow quite a bit of food channels. Um, so you can look at those of your favorites, okay, and look at their thumbnails. All right, okay. Oh, it's called AIDA, A I D A. Awareness, interest, desire, and action. AIDA. It's online, you can just Google it. Ida is a marketing strategy, it's a marketing framework. Not so much of a YouTube, but we use it in everything marketing. So if you are doing like Instagram marketing, you're doing YouTube marketing, you should always think of all these frameworks. What are you going to what kind of video are you gonna put up for awareness? What are you gonna which is probably something short, fun, 
uh, you're probably going to advertise this uh, type of videos like a one minute, two minutes uh, clip. Uh, then after that, you should have a video that is going to help build that interest in certain topics. And then you have a consideration video and a decision making video, which are probably webinars. Uh, okay, the decision part. Okay, yeah. All right, thank you so much, everybody. It's 8.34. Uh, since there's no more other questions, right? Okay, thank you for joining us. Um, if you'd like to watch the video again, it will be on uh, Aventus' YouTube channel, okay? Sometime this week or early next week. Thanks, everyone.